situated at the foothills of scenic Hantana mountain range surrounding the evergreen Mahalali river. The University of Peradeniya was established in 1942 as the University of Ceylon. Originally stationed in Colombo, it was moved to its current seating at Peradeniya in 1952. The current student enrollment of the university is about 12,500, of which about 11,000 are undergraduate students. The university currently has nine faculties, namely Faculty of Agriculture, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, Faculty of Arts, Faculty of Dental Sciences, Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Management, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Science and Faculty of Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science. It also has three postgraduate institutes. They are the Postgraduate Institute of Agriculture, Postgraduate Institute of Science and Postgraduate Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences. The majority of the undergraduate students enrolled in different degree programs are residents at a number of residential halls provided to them by the university. All resident and non-resident students are presented with numerous facilities readily available for them at the university premises. These facilities help students excel in their studies, research, sports and their numerous aesthetic interests. At Peradeniya, the students have the opportunity to grow into well-rounded individuals through engagement with other students and staff coming from different parts of the country with diverse backgrounds. The governing body of the university is the University Council chaired by the Vice-Chancellor who is the Chief Executive Officer of the university. Faculty of Engineering, University of Peradeniya is situated on a 6 hectare land on the left bank of Mahavali River. It was established in 1950 as part of the University of Ceylon in Colombo, making use of the laboratory facilities at the Ceylon Technical College, which makes it the first engineering faculty of the country. It was then moved to its current location at Peradeniya in 1964. At its inception, in 1950, the student intake to the faculty was 25 and it had steadily increased to 150 when it was moved to Pera Denia. By 2020, the intake was at 415. In 2021, the faculty decided to increase the intake to 455. However, upon UGC's request, it was temporarily increased further to 480 only for the year 2021 to accommodate the students who followed different GCE advanced level syllabuses. The undergraduate degree program offered by the faculty leads to the degree Bachelor of the Science of Engineering Honours or in other words BSc Engineering Honours. It is one of the most sought after degree programs available to the students in the country. The students are selected for it by the University Grants Commission through GCE Advanced Level Examination results and it is highly competitive to secure a placement in this degree program. Peradeniya Engineering Faculty currently has eight departments for providing six unique engineering specializations. These specializations are Chemical and Process Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, manufacturing and industrial engineering and mechanical engineering. Throughout its seven decades of history, the Faculty of Engineering, Peradeniya, has produced exceptional engineers who achieved great fields of engineering both locally and globally. It continues to produce well-rounded engineering graduates who are capable of reaching the caliber of their forefathers. The Department of Computer Engineering of the University of Peradeniya is the oldest computer department established in the Sri Lankan University system. It was established as the Department of Computer Sciences in the Faculty of Engineering in Peradeniya in 1985. At its inception, the role of the department was to conduct programming courses for the students in all disciplines of the faculty. In addition, the courses leading to a subspecialization called data structures were offered to the students who specialized in electrical engineering. 
Since 2001, the department has developed into a fully-fledged department that offers a B.Sc. Engineering degree with the specialization of Computer Engineering. Uh, we have uh, eight departments at the faculty and uh, Computer Engineering is uh, one of the six departments offering specializations after the first year general program. Uh, it is uh, one of the most uh, sought after department by students at the time of uh, selecting specializations. Together with uh, newly recruited staff, now the stage is set for computer engineering department for a rapid development. Before the 1970s, there were only three computing related degree programs, namely computer science, electrical engineering and information systems with well-defined boundaries offered throughout the world. With the invention of microprocessors, computer engineering emerged from within electrical engineering as a separate discipline. As microprocessors became a basic component of most electrical and mechanical devices, the skill set required to design and program them became distinguishable from other associated engineering fields and established computer engineering as a discipline of its own. Other related fields of computing as identified in 2005 by the Association of Computing Machinery are computer science, software engineering, information systems and information technology. In 2020, cyber security and data science are added as sub-disciplines of computing. When we consider the facilities available within the department, the, com the computer engineering department owns the famous IBM 1130 computer since 1970s. The IBM 1130 computer is the first computer purchased by, the, by any university in Sri Lanka and it is the second computer brought to any institution in Sri Lanka. In 1985, the department received about 40 numbers of Z80-based Sword M23 PCs and a Motorola 68000-based Sword M685 mini computer with four terminals under the Japanese aids. The first computer network was built on the third floor of the building in 1991 using several IBM compatibles. Since then, the department has steadily improved its facilities required to provide a solid undergraduate experience to its students and it has grown in popularity among the students over the years. In the last few years, computer engineering has been the most sought after specialization in the faculty of engineering. The Department of Computer Engineering has an academic program tailor-made for facilitating the students to realize their full potential. The department believes that an academic program has to transcend the conventional sense of teaching and learning and it should be a platform where students can go into capable engineers, innovators and entrepreneurs. Throughout our academic program, we really try to establish a solid foundation of computer systems engineering. Um, we, as academics, we uh, strongly believe that our students being thorough with their fundamentals about computer engineering is really essential, especially in a very dynamic field like ours, uh, which is why we have a very strong core program covering all the fundamentals from digital electronics, embedded systems, um, computer architecture, and software programs and up to algorithms. The core program, we use it for the depth, the depth fundamental uh, knowledge. At the same time, we are using the elective courses for the breadth. The technical elective courses start in semester six. So the technical elective courses include uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, theory of computation, and then advanced courses like uh, advanced computer architecture, advanced embedded systems, uh, even in software. Our students master the art of computer engineering by going through a series of cross-curricular multidisciplinary projects carefully integrated into our academic program. 
Um, in addition to the curriculum and the different projects and the events uh, that we do in the computer engineering department, we also try to uh, develop uh, the soft skills and other side of uh, uh, the graduates that we produce. So we started with a soft skill development program a few years ago, which has now been incorporated into the orientation program for all the incoming engineering students. So uh, moving on from there, um, we started uh, uh, with a program called uh, Portfolio Development Awareness Program uh, for the incoming uh, computer engineering student in their second year to get them aware about uh, the need uh, to develop their portfolio uh, and what kind of things that they could do, uh, what type of things they should focus on and what's the industry and the uh, the higher education institutes are looking at so that they can target their work uh, to develop their uh, portfolio uh, towards uh, uh, in, to a high caliber. And uh, in, the in the next year, we would all all also do uh, an, uh, uh, a follow-up program uh, to further develop their portfolio. Uh, and they are on uh, from their third year and their final year. We also conduct um, CV writing uh, workshops uh, now with the with the improved portfolio that they have developed with the awareness that where they would look at doing more projects, uh, doing uh, more events, uh, taking part in competitions. They will have uh, uh, many things to include in their uh, the CVs, but uh, how to uh, really uh, get their flavor and their get their uniqueness in this. Um, CV we would uh, do in a, a series of CV writing workshops uh, which would be followed by um, interview preparedness uh, um, workshops where they would learn how to uh, present themselves and to how to handle different, uh, different scenarios and how to really express themselves in these things. Uh, I believe that you know by doing this all these workshops um, our computer engineering students have um, uh, not only uh, being able to develop their, themselves, but being able to express and uh, market themselves uh, much better uh, when it comes to uh, jobs and for higher education. At present, the department has an academic cadre for one professor and 18 lecturers. These cadre positions are filled by one professor and 12 senior lecturers of permanent cadre and two lecturers and a senior lecturer on a contract basis. Additionally, there is a cadre of 12 temporary instructors for successfully running the academic program of the department. The academic staff holds qualifications ranging from bachelor's degrees in computer engineering, computer science or electrical and electronic engineering to PhDs. As a department that produces professional engineers, it is essential for the Department of Computer Engineering to maintain a harmonious relationship with the industry. The department keeps a very close connection with the industry. If you look at it, the industry is the consumer of what we produce. So, for obvious reasons, we need to keep a very good rapport with the industry. We need to get regular feedback from the industry as to uh, figure out defects if there are any uh, in our products and of course to, to uh, uh, rectify those defects and, and give the product the industry requires. So with this feedback we get at different levels. We have formal uh, industry consultative committees where we uh, discussed about the future of the department, where we want to head, uh, what our graduate should look like, the, the profile of the graduate if you want to change that. And then also we have very uh, informal uh, discussions, a lot of them in fact, uh, uh, many uh, discussions uh, with the uh, uh, with the operational level managers of the industry to get uh, feedback on uh, uh, on small operational uh, issues like what's the best programming language to teach right now, what's, what depth should it uh, go to, uh, things like that. So in addition to that we get the industry uh, industry's help uh, in, uh, in teaching a lot of the courses. As an example, uh, we teach data structures. Uh, in the course and we get the industry to come and talk about how the data structures are, uh, are actually used in their code uh, for a real world uh, large scale problem. So that way the students will learn the theory and also they will get uh, the experience, the, the issues that uh, people have faced by uh, while using those theories. 
for the smooth running of the degree program, maintaining a healthy relationship between the students and the staff is important. Staff-student liaison committee meetings are in place to regularly gather student feedback and to promptly address students' concerns. It is a platform for both staff and students to have a dialogue with each other on ongoing matters. Association of Computer Engineering Students or ASUS, is the official student society of the department. The official student body of the Computer Engineering Student Community is called ASUS or Association of Computer Engineering Students. Uh, this association is uh, involved largely in conducting a lot of student activities such as hackathons, competitions, other competitions, um, coding competitions. In fact, the largest student coding competition uh, organized in Sri Lanka is organized by ACES, which is called the ACES Coders. Uh, other than that, ACES uh, gets involved with the staff and students to uh, support the students in various other activities such as supporting the projects financially and otherwise as well as uh, supporting the students uh, portfolio development and preparing for um, uh, these events such as hackathons and the coding competitions. Facilities available for running department's academic program have steadily increased over the years. Currently, the department has a number of fully-fledged laboratories. These are the Computing Lab, Embedded Systems and Computer Architecture Lab, Electronics Lab and Computer Networking Lab. Highlights of other facilities include modern PLC equipment, 3D printing capabilities, PCB printing facilities, equipment for robotic research, a range of high-performance servers, student project areas, a discussion room, and a modern conference room. I like briefly explain to the part of the PLC. This is a PLC, otherwise uh, system unit. This is a power supply unit. Uh, those are input and output slots, input, uh, digital inputs and digital output. The department continues to improve the currently available facilities with new state-of-the-art equipment and make new resources available for the effective running of its academic program and research. In addition to its own facilities, the Department of Computer Engineering utilizes services provided by the faculty level units for conducting a degree program of high standards. These units include Engineering Education Unit, Industrial Training and Career Guidance Unit, Center for Engineering Research and Postgraduate Studies and Computing Center. Research plays a prominent part in the computer engineering curriculum. The department has researchers with interest in a broad and diverse range of areas. Over the years, the department has gained a noteworthy reputation for high quality research in different fields of computer engineering. If you take the type of research we do at the Department of Computer Engineering, we particularly focus on systems aspect of uh, the computer uh, uh, spectrum. Particularly, we work on uh, embedded systems, large computing systems, operating systems, uh, network systems, and so on. So these uh, topics uh, have or cover a large variety of research areas, uh, such as uh, the common popular topics like uh, IoT or Internet of Things 
or um, uh, deep uh, learning and so on. So we apply a different type of these research uh, ideas into uh, various uh, computing related and multidisciplinary uh, projects. Uh, we work uh, as a department, we work with uh, many other interdisciplinary fields within engineering. Uh, we have research, uh, researchers working uh, on uh, structural related. Uh, projects with uh, structural engineers from other departments. We have researchers working with uh, uh, veterinary, uh, veterinary working on um, animal research related uh, research projects. So, and we have researchers working with agriculture uh, department, faculty uh, on a uh, lot of different uh, agriculture uh, or automation related in agriculture uh, projects. So we have uh, such uh, several such examples where we uh, work on uh, our expertise which is uh, systems and we use this expertise in uh, various inter and multidisciplinary research projects. My uh, main research focus is uh, cryptography and I'm currently doing mostly uh, on uh, post-quantum cryptography. When it comes to research I focus on uh, biomedical engineering, robotics, and um, hardware acceleration uh, along computer architecture and FPGA domains. Um, I'm also very keenly interested in um, education, uplifting the education in the university as well as the broader domain in the country. So I'm also involved in teaching, learning and staff development activities as such. Currently, I am uh, uh, one of the principal investigators in the uh, Smart and Intelligent Systems Laboratory here in the department. So here we do computer vision, image processing and machine learning research with the uh, collaboration of the staff here as well as the staff outside the faculty. And I also work in data mining, machine learning and data science research fields. So I have a number of uh, collaborations in other faculties or also in uh, uh, industry together with my students. In addition to teaching and research, the academic staff of the Department of Computer Engineering undertakes numerous consultancy work from external parties and has built a high level of credibility towards it. Also, we do some consult consultation work in the uh, university and the department with the collaboration of uh, government institutes like uh, disaster management, irrigation department and the med department. So we have been doing uh, a number of uh, research collaborations. Uh, we have been working in various fields in uh, data sciences. And finally, I also uh, collaborate in industry. Uh, currently, I'm working as a resource person to Dialogue Data Academy, as well as uh, I have also been involved in developing uh, curricula for uh, SLTC. So uh, apart from that, I also do some uh, consultation outside, particularly for the government institutes uh, to, to carry on their IT related uh, uh, projects, etc. The continuous monitoring and guidance of the department to enhance the quality of the degree program is carried out by the Department Quality Assurance Cell, TQAC. The TQAC coordinates with the Faculty Quality Assurance Cell and has streamlined the process of examinations gathering and addressing student feedback and peer reviewing. So basically uh, quality is uh, delivering what we promise. So it is important that we keep documentation in order to check and take balances uh, if we deviate from that uh, set uh, standards. Uh, we have developed a manual, a uh, comprehensive manual that uh, contains uh, uh, the documentation on uh, feedback, student feedback and then peer reviews and things like that and also curriculum development based on industry feedback. So I believe that it is uh, something very positive uh, in our way forward. The department encourages students to start their own companies and facilitates pre-incubation within the department by providing workspace, computing and internet facilities and hardware facilities at the early stages of firming enterprises. Upon establishing basic requirements of new companies, they are moved to the Engineering Technology Incubation Center of the faculty. 
the first company to set up under this initiative was Sieta Labs. track record of 37 years, the Department of Computer Engineering continues to produce exceptional computer engineers, entrepreneurs and leaders to the nation as well as to the whole world. In a fast-changing field like computer engineering, the department has always been capable of keeping up to date with the latest developments in the field and timely disseminate that knowledge to its students. The heights its alumni have reached is a testament to the department's commitment and dedication to providing a high quality degree program. The Department of Computer Engineering is ready and excited for continuing this success story into the future.